Welcome to Jason Whiskey Wise. My name is Jason. Welcome today to our whiskey review and kind of a little mini series into the Macallan. And today we're going to be reviewing the Macallan Classic Cut. Now, those of you guys who are in North America, this will look rather familiar. And those of you guys in Europe and probably Asia probably have no idea what this one was. Now, this is one that they kept for the American market. I'm going to put that down because I'm probably going to break it. Um, but it is called the Macallan Classic Cut. It's a no-age statement whiskey bottled at 58.4%. I have to try remembering that one because it is much higher. 58.4, Macallan Adana car strength version. Um, so it's a much more richer, powerful version of the Macallan. And this one was sent over to America, so it's a 750 mils. I want to say a massive thank you first to my friend Jez, and he's also a co-founder with me in the London Whiskey Club. So if you guys are in London or ever traveling down Give us a shout, and if you want, to, if you're in London, feel free to join. It's just about people that enjoy whiskey. So thank you to him for loaning me this bottle, and he also wanted to see this as a review. So the Macallan Classic Cut. In terms of the cast selection on this one, it does have, I believe, to what I've read, is sherry seasoned oak casks from Jerez. And in terms of the distillery itself, it is the Macallan Distillery. They are owned by a parent company, the Edrington Group, and they are located in Speyside. Scotland. Now the price point on that bottle is around about a hundred pounds to what I've read online and some places this is even selling for 200 pounds on auction which is crazy money. Um, but again it's a car strength Macallan so I've got to add that into the equation. Now I really want to go straight into the nose. It's quite interesting. But in terms of exclusivity it is exclusive for the North America market and it was 90,000 bottles as being limited edition or exclusive, which it says somewhere there. So 90,000 bottles is a lot. So if you guys actually have this in America, or if any of you guys have got this bottle, pour it and let me know also in the comment section what you think of this whiskey. So we're gonna jump straight into the nose, into the nose. He got it? He got it. So to begin things on the nose, Mr. Bananas really just jumped at this thing, but he likes really fruity whiskeys now. To get into the nose, it's actually something which I didn't anticipate on the nose with the Macallan Classic Cut. I thought it's going to be powerful. It's going to sort of like sucker punch me in the face and, you know, make me feel like, why the hell did I put my nose through this thing straight away? But it's actually really sort of subtle. It's smooth. It's gentle on the actual nose. It's not in your face. It's not really powerful sort of stewed fruitcake. I'm actually getting a lot more vanilla. I'm getting like a Danish custard tart. Where you're getting that almost custardy vanilla character coming through, a bit of this icing sugar, that pastry note. And then I'm getting a bit of that fruitcake character, and it's a mild fruitcake. It's not intense, not too much. It does have a little bit of a gentle spice, almost like a cinnamon, actual cinnamon sticks and a bit of grated nutmeg. And then there is a little bit of a gingery heat on the end, but it's not too spicy. It's actually quite a really easy to nose. There is even a sweetness on this one with a little bit of fudge, but behind all that, I'm getting quite a nice sort of, almost like a rounded sweet tobacco-y character. And there is a bit of like, what I'd say is red plums. It's, yeah, it's a little bit tarty on the end, a bit of tannins. Let's get straight into the palate next. Slager, do you want a drink? So to begin things on the palate, wow. He took a hit from that. <laughs> so, to begin things on the palate, it's very rich, it's very full in texture. If you actually haven't, if you have missed my video into the edition number four, I'll leave that linked over here. One of the latest releases from the Macallan. But you actually get these spices now to begin on the palate. And this is what I was initially thinking I was gonna get on the nose, but now I'm getting it on the palate. It's like a ginger biscuit with these little bits of gingers, um, cubes. It's giving you this heat, it's igniting, it's giving you this mouth warming character, almost like even a little bit of white pepper, the crackle of white pepper, and you're getting this heat from it. After that sort of fades away, you get this character, almost like a malty, and the vanilla note, not really so noticeable on the palate, but then you take a side step, and you're getting now into this almost plummy, and it's not a red plum now, it's like a dark plum, and you get this fruit cake, you get this black licorice, a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of a bitter character, even a little bit of even red dates into the mix. And I've been trying all these different things. I'm actually gonna tell you guys how I sort of develop my palate further. But then it goes into almost like a tannic note now, and I'm getting like black currants that have been just sort of sitting there for too long in their own juices, they become a bit tannic. 
and a bit more tarty. And then you go into this almost like a, a leathery note. So it's sort of drying out now. But it's still got this sort of character on the middle of the palette. So overall, I think the, the actual texture of this one is around about, I'd say, a full. Maybe a medium. No, I'm going to go with a full still. It's got quite a nice, nice, interesting character. But I'm, as I'm holding it there, as it was drying out, you go through these different layers as if it's almost emerging or sort of evolving on the palette into an espresso and then a bit of dark chocolate just to end things off. And you get this like bitter character on the edges of the taste buds. So that's about it for the palette. That has got quite a lot to it, a lot of complexity. I'm happy with that. So into the finish. Flavor wise, you're getting this dark chocolate. You're getting this coffee. I really want to say Teramazoo, but it's got a lot of spice to it which you don't get in a tiramisu. Tiramisu, you get a creamy coffee chocolate. This one, you're getting coffee, chocolate, spice, and then a little bit of these dried fruits. So I'll give you my rating, and then we'll just talk a little bit about the classic cut in my summary. So overall, I'm giving it 88 out of 100. When I do compare this one to the last McAllen I just reviewed in this mini series, the edition number four is around about the same price point, but this is around about 20 pounds more here in the UK. At the same time, it's exclusive to North America, so we can't get it as readily available or whenever Macallan do release it. So in terms of value for money, if you do want something that's a car strength Macallan and you live in North America, by all means, boom, pull the trigger on this one. It's not too pricey compared to even something like the editions. It's not like in the crazy ranges of the rare casks. But in terms of overall complexity about this whiskey, it does offer it. The only thing that I found quite harsh was a spice on the palette and pretty much on the finish giving you almost like a little bit of acidity whereas edition number four felt for me too easy drinking so if there's something in between that would be probably one of my higher bets in this whiskey but it doesn't get away from the nose being so inviting and so enjoyable so overall McAllen edition classic cut sorry McAllen classic cut is getting an 80 out of 100 would I recommend giving this one some time yes and if you do have this and you also like me finding a bit hot on the palate add a few drops of water swirl it or leave it to settle and just give it some time and then you're gonna see it reduces that heat and makes it so much more enjoyable. But as this is a neat review, it is a neat review, it's an 88 out of 100. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section, what you think of the McAllen Classic Cut. And on by all means, this has been me, Jason Whiskey Wise, and down and out Mr. Bananas, and we'll catch you all for the next video. I'll leave some other videos up on screen, subscribe button over there, I'll catch you for the next video. Slanger.